What is going on everybody? Phoenix Gaming here. Thank you for stopping by and today we are going to be showcasing the legendary assault rifle, the Thunderbird. Now as you can see from my inventory, I have every single legendary item. Uh, I was very fortunate and lucky enough to have this all drop during the captain farm, but I'm not going to get into that because you can go on YouTube yourself, find a captain farming method or the loot chest box method and just grind for it. So I'm not going to get into that, but what I am going to do today is showcase the Thunderbird and throughout the week I'll be showcasing every other weapon gameplay footage going over the aesthetics and everything in between so if you like the sound of that if you think that's something up your alley definitely hit that subscribe button turn on notifications so you don't miss any Outriders content and then uh, without further ado let's go ahead and begin so with the Thunderbird Legendary Assault Rifle, this is a standard variant, full auto, with a clip size of 40, 600 RPM, 15 damage, 1.5 second reload, and 125% crit multiplier. We have an accuracy of 86%, the stability of 91%, and range, which is 35 meters. So this will be in your mid-tier range. This dropped at item level 9, fire, firepower 340, your crit damage is 11.9%, status power 17.5%, Close range damage is 6.5%. And then for the mods, we have a tier 3 mod, Ultimate Storm Whip. Shots bring down lightning on an enemy, dealing 46 damage. And then tier mod 2, Striga, 30% of critical damage is returned to you as health. So now the first test I wanted to do was take this weapon into the Goss boss fight. And as you can tell already, I am melting this guy. Now keep in mind, we are real tier 5. We're not completely maxed. We're not even min-maxed. We're nowhere near that. We're running blue gear, one purple, and everything in between. But as you can see that this assault rifle just melts Goss like incredibly. Now, I was using the uh, time bubble as well as twisted rounds in order to proc that extra damage. But that was less than 30 seconds of a boss fight, especially with this legendary weapon. So we're doing this much power now, doing a lot more power later on when you're like world tier 15. You've got all the great gear. Uh, it's just going to be absolutely insane. And also keep in mind, these are not just the only legendaries. If you take a look at your accolades title, you can see that there's like 46 unique legendaries that will be coming out with Outriders in the full game. So the next phase I wanted to do was take this out into one of the side missions. So with this one, this is the captain farm that we all know about and how you can get the legendary weapons to drop. But I wanted to go through, see how it was against effective mobs and just the proc rate on the lightning. The lightning itself does some insane damage. And if you have enough enemies within a group, like you'll see here momentarily, you'll see that it spreads about spreads amongst the group. So with that, I mean, you could just do a huge AOE effect. It's definitely a weapon used uh, for crowd control, definitely used for a solo player if they need it. But uh, at the same time, I mean, it just, it gives you that feel of power. Like all these, all these legendary weapons feel unique. They feel exotic. They feel like they were meant to be, you know, used specifically for certain things and using them in the way that you want to use them. So it's just, it's just one of those things that comes to be like, Wow, like this feels very, very good. And so now you can tell like how the accuracy plays in, how the stability plays in with everything. You're melting enemies left and right. I mean, this is definitely one of the better ARs to use. Now, the ARs in this game, they're not very, they're not hard to use. The whole point of this game is to be out of cover and then taking down all of your enemies at the same time. But with this, I mean, you can feel the stability. You're not having to really aim much. As for console, I'm not entirely sure how well the aim is or the uh, precision is using a pad. For me on PC, you know, I have the sensitivity settings, the DPI settings that I can use in order to help my ridicule like maintain, you know, in the center of the screen. But I mean, from the gameplay footage, I mean, this is definitely an AR that I suggest you get. It's very fun to use. It's very unique. Definitely grind for it because remember again, all of these legendary weapons are going to be brought forward when the game launches on April 1st. So now that we went over the gameplay footage and the stats of this weapon, let's just go over the aesthetics. I find the aesthetics of these weapons unique. They're very interesting to look at. They have that bone mode feel. They have that apocalyptic feel. They have that, that death killing blow field that just gives you that sense of power and i think that's kind of what the devs were going for with this i feel like that's what 
they were trying to make these as unique as possible. Now, a lot of these do look like weapons or a concept of weapons from Destiny, which you're going to see a lot of people talk about. However, you know, in fairness, the, there's nothing saying that they can't look a certain way. You know, there's no trademarks or something like that. But with these weapons in particular, I mean, the idea of them fits what they are supposed to be doing overall. So like with the Thunderbird itself, it's supposed to be proccing lightning. You're supposed to get that lightning effect. Uh, it's supposed to feel powerful. This aesthetic feels powerful. The blue encompassing the weapon, the blue on white bone mold feels very, you know, unique and rigid. The jawline, it gives you that sense of purpose. Like this is what this weapon does. This is how it's going to perform. So other than that, guys, that is the legendary assault rifle, the Thunderbird. Very unique, very efficient, powerful beyond belief. Now, keep this in mind. I was running this weapon with the Trickster class. I don't have the other three classes leveled up yet, but I'm going to get to that. And just remember that each class has a different variant. So like Trickster is very close quarters. Your Devastator is very tanky. Your Technomancer is kind of like, you know, an AR specific all around. And then you've got your Pyromancer, which is... Uh, very brutal. I think that's also an AR specific as well. But I mean, with with this, it did phenomenal uh, with the Trickster because of the close range, uh, because you still get that percentage. You still get that uh, proc of, you know, like I said, six and a half percent close range damage. So it still does what it needs to do in the event, you know, you're running this on your Pyromancer, Technomancer or Devastator. Other than that, everyone, that is it. That is the legendary Thunderbird assault rifle. So I really hope you guys take the take the time to grind it out. You still have a month before Outriders comes, so it's plenty of enough time to actually go and grab your legendary weapons. So other than that, that is it. If you found this video helpful and informative, you can help support by simply rating and sharing this video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any Outriders content. As always, likes appreciated, subs respected, and I will catch you around next time. Take care.